In this video, we will show you how to download and install R and RStudio, which are two pieces of software that you will need to complete the labs in Open Intro Statistics and Introduction to Modern Statistics. In this video, we'll be doing so on a Mac computer. For those of you who have Windows, there's a separate video linked in the description below. Our first step is going to be to download R. So I'm going to use Safari, though you can use any modern web browser. And we're going to navigate to crayon r-project.org download r for mac os and now for most people will probably be using this first link r-4.1.2 and we'll note here it says it's a binary for mac os high sierra and higher intel 64-bit build so if your computer has an intel processor that's the one you don't want to download as long as you have an up-to-date operating system to check if you're not sure if you have an Intel chip or if you're not sure which version of Mac OS you have, you can click on the Apple logo at the top left of your screen, select About This Mac, and it'll show you which version you have, so I have version 11.6, and then it shows you the chip. Mine is an Apple M1, or you might say Intel Core i5, something along those lines. So since I have the Apple M1, I'm going to use the link below here. R4.1.2, binary for Mac OS 11 and higher for Apple Silicon. So if you do have one of the new Apple processors, you'll want to download the ARM version of R. While that's downloading, I'm going to navigate to rstudio.com. Here, we'll click the download link towards the top. Scroll down to rstudio desktop free. Click download. It will automatically detect that we have a Mac. It says download RStudio for Mac. And this will be the same whether you have an Apple processor or an Intel processor. Currently, RStudio does not run natively on Mac's M1 processors, so it will run through Rosetta 2. Um, so we'll click download RStudio for Mac. And we can check our downloads here. R is finished downloading, so I'm going to open that package and install R, we'll accept all the default settings, accept the uh, license, the terms and conditions. And we've successfully installed R. So we can close this. We can move that to the trash since it's installed already, and now the RStudio file is finished downloading, so we can open that disk image. And drag and drop the RStudio icon into our Applications folder. I'm going to click Replace. So if you, if you have not installed RStudio before, that won't be there, it'll just install it. No. So now I can go up to my uh, search icon, my spotlight index, and I can search for RStudio. Sure enough, it pops up. We can open RStudio to confirm that everything downloaded and installed correctly. Yes, we're sure we want to open it. And we can see we have everything correctly here. Our version 4.1.2, so that was the version that we downloaded. And it shows that it's the Apple version. So we have successfully downloaded and installed R&R Studio onto an Apple computer.